Hello, this is Stuart Gray of vikingcad.co.uk. I'm just doing a short presentation video of how I do my concrete detailing to show the uh, quality of the drawings and uh, the accuracy of which all the uh, sections and bars are drawn. Uh, I'm just doing a base here, which uh, I've already put some H20s at 200 in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to uh, now put some uh, H12s at 200 centers in the top. So locking with this bar mark 1, where we shall have a, a bar mark uh, 3, which is going to be a H12, shape code 21 U bar. The dimension of the leg, is, well that is 70 mil. it's got to cover, plus a lap length of 480, means this lap leg will have to be 550, so we'll dimension C. Dimension B will be that distance there. Uh, for scheduling, there will be a, a tolerance taken off that, of course. And I just go simply to draw bar. Go on corner there. And there is a bar drawn to scale. And if I put a radius on there with the uh, correct radiuses or radii in all the corners. Uh, and uh, the, the right uh, width, of course. So I'll just put on the section, I shall just go put some tags on. Show the ends of the bars. Uh, the, these blobs in the bottom are bar mark 2. So I shall go to uh, label those. I'm going to place them. Um, more accurately later. Okay, so there's a, a section drawn with my uh, new bar on. I just need to uh, call that off on, on the plan. And uh, this is going to by selecting the bar, going to call off this bar centers. It's going to be a U bar. I can put any description on the second line. Um, that's a like in there. It will be the T1 uh, level of steel. So call off from there to there. And call off text there. Ta tidy up my uh, the call off. And there is 10 H12 bar mark 3s at 200 centers T1. And uh, uh, the computer automatically works out the number of bars that fit within the area. Um, I've, I've not put this uh, lap in a very good position between the bar mark ones and threes. I think I should uh, I should change that. I think we'll uh, shorten it by 100. And I'll move it down by 150 millimeters. I think so. I'll draw redo bar mark one. Don't want to put the bar on again. And bar mark 3 will make 150mm longer. Okay, I don't need to put that on. If I go to regenerate, the bars are uh, automatically redrawn to the uh, new dimensions. I just have to leave the tags. Maybe 150 was a bit. No, 150 is quite good. Uh, there's a few other bars to be put on, of course, uh, and uh, also I, I make a lot of use of blocks so that uh, every bar mark one drawn on the drawing will look exactly the same, even if I change the dimensions at any time. And uh, these section arrows are dynamic blocks, just to make them uh, more consistent. Uh, make them and, and easier and quicker and cheaper for the client. There's just one more feature I uh, need to show in this uh, video, uh, and that is the ability of the program to automatically schedule bars that are called off on the screen. Uh, I can uh, select the call offs uh, down here. There's only uh, there's only three on this drawing, but. Quite easily be hundreds. Uh, it 
automatically starts automatically it starts auto Excel uh, gives a barmark number the number off and the uh, uh, dimensions of the bars from this it's, I can very easily uh, copy this to a, a rather better spreadsheet to uh, put all the dimensions and details of the bar in uh, this sheet lists every bar and I have uh, another sheet which uh, could be uh, of each uh, uh, base possibly uh, on here I need to put the bar mark numbers and it will automatically bring in from the other sheet uh, the bar details so if there's another base and on that I use uh, just bar mark 3 0 3 not 3 it will bring you up the same bar details as the other one and uh, then I can also copy it, bring in the uh, number of bars cop calculated from uh, my program and there we have this one the uh, bad, bad details, the number off, and the total weight of steel. Thank you very much. This is Stuart Gray of vikingcad.co.uk, and I hope to be doing some reinforcement detailing drawings for you very soon.